Do you get confused between frequency, intensity, pulse and continuous mode of ultrasound? Then this video is for you. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please go and subscribe it and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you receive the notification first whenever I upload any video. So now let's start the video. So it is very important that you should have proper knowledge about frequency, intensity and mode of ultrasound. Because if you will not have proper knowledge, you will select, you will pick any frequency, any intensity randomly that might be not appropriate according to that condition and you will not get the desired effects on the patient. So in this video, I will try to clear all your doubts regarding frequency, intensity and mode of ultrasound. So now first we will start with frequency. So basically there are two types of frequency available in most ultrasound machines that is 1 megahertz and 3 megahertz. But what they mean? So now listen carefully. So if the target injury is within 2.5 centimeter or 3 centimeter then we will use 3 megahertz frequency that means if the target injury is superficial within 2.5 centimeter or 3 centimeter then we will use 3 megahertz frequency that means those all conditions which are present very superficially like if there is any scar formation on the skin or if there is any wound on the skin or there is pressure source then in all these conditions or if we want to treat any muscle which is very superficial then in all these conditions we will use 3 megahertz but if the target injury is below 2.5 centimeter then we will prefer 1 megahertz 1 megahertz frequency is more preferable for deep injury like for example if you want to treat rotator cuff muscles if there is any injury or inflammation in supraspinators or infraspinators then we will choose 1 megahertz because they are present quite deep they are covered with trapezius deltoid and because of that they are deep so that's why we will choose 1 megahertz and in conditions like if there's an injury in ligaments or muscles that are quite deep, then in all these cases, we will take 1 megahertz frequency. And also in conditions like osteoarthritis of knee or hip joint or any meniscal injury or any ligament injury or tendon injury which is deep, then in all these conditions, we will take 1 megahertz. But there is one thing that you should keep in your mind that if a person has a lot of superficial fat then in that condition also we have to use 1 megahertz so you have to see the condition of the patient if, if that person is very bulky and, and he has a lot of fatty tissue then in that condition also we have to choose 1 megahertz frequency so now I will tell you about the modes of ultrasound so basically there are two kinds of modes pulse mode and continuous mode so in acute cases, acute cases are basically when there is a lot of inflammation and pain in that area, then in such conditions, we, we will use pulse mode. That means when patient complain that he has a lot of pain in that area and because of pain, he cannot move his limb and the duration of the injury will be around like 7 days or 15 days. So in, that, in all these conditions, we will use pulse mode because in such conditions, we do not want thermal effects. We want non-thermal effects that is mechanical effects of ultrasound. So because of that, we will use pulse mode. It is just like that, that after injury, we always use cryotherapy. We never use hot packs or hydrocolateral packs because when we will use heat therapy, it will actually increase the symptoms of the patient. And because of that, we always use ice. We always use cryotherapy after any injury. So same like this, after injury, when the condition is very acute, there is fresh injury present, then we will use pulse mode instead of continuous mode because continuous mode will give thermal effects and pulse mode will give non-thermal effects. So if you are choosing pulse mode then we also need to choose 
mark space ratio or duty cycle so initially when the injury is very fresh then always start with 1 is to 5 mark space ratio or 1 is to 3 and then gradually you can progress to 1 is to 1 mark space ratio because the goal is we want minimal thermal effects and we want non-thermal effects that is mechanical effects now if the condition is chronic so if the condition is chronic then we will go for continuous mode because at that moment we want thermal effects of ultrasound so in all those conditions when joint is stiff or adhesive muscles are very tight or stiff or there is scar formation and we want to increase the extensibility of the muscles or collagen fibers then in all those conditions we will choose continuous mode because we want the thermal effects of the ultrasound and in conditions which are subacute, that means present between acute and chronic stage. So in all those conditions which are subacute, then we generally prefer continuous mode. But again, it depends on the patient condition. If you see inflammation and pain still present in that area, then just go for pulse mode. But if you do not see such condition, then you can go for continuous mode. So it all depends on the patient condition. Now the intensity where we get confused most of the time. So in most ultrasound units, intensity is up to 2.5 watt per centimeter square. So we will give intensity according to the condition of the patient. So if the condition is acute, then you will give 0.3 to 1 watt per centimeter square intensity. And in subacute cases, you will go for 1 to 2 watt per centimeter square and in chronic cases, you can go for like around uh, 2 to 2.5 centimeter square. So it all depends on the patient's condition, whether it is acute, subacute or chronic. So you can remember this by in acute cases, always go for less. Whether it is intensity or duration, always start with less and then gradually you can increase according to the condition of the patient. So now if I talk about the duration, if the patient is taking ultrasound for the first time and the condition is very acute, then you can even put duration for three minutes. If you are thinking that three minutes is so less, it is not, it will be not effective, then you are thinking wrong. Let me tell you, according to some researches, they say that even three minutes or two minutes or four minute duration is also effective when we use ultrasound on patients. So if you are thinking that these duration three minutes or four minutes will be not effective then you are thinking wrong so initially you can start with three minutes and four minutes and then you can progress with eight minutes according to the condition in chronic cases you can go for like six minutes or seven minutes but according to my opinion we should not choose duration more than eight minutes I want to tell you an interesting incident that happened with me long ago so at that moment, I didn't know how exactly we have to choose ultrasound intensities and frequencies. So I was just practicing physiotherapy in one of the clinics. And uh, at that moment, one lady came, she has pain and, you know, inflammation in his upper traps. And her condition was acute. And I just chose intensity like 2 watt per centimeter square because at that moment, I didn't know how we have to, you know, select all these things. But the funny part was the physiotherapist that was working in that clinic, he didn't correct me because he also uh, was not sure about the intensities and you know frequencies so he didn't correct me. But, uh, but hopefully, thankfully, I, right now I know how exactly we have to select all those things. Thankfully, now I know how exactly we have to choose intensities and frequencies. And that's why I made this video so that you don't do such mistakes in your future. But you know, we should always keep learning from our mistakes, past mistakes and experiences and we should never regret about that. So yeah, if you think this video was helpful, then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and your like and comments means a lot to me it motivates me to keep uploading these helpful videos so yeah see you in my next video